Hiking Cow's Mountain Barker Way Trail with larger Airedale Terriers. If you like to hike, and especially if you have dogs, this is the highest point in the city of San Diego, and it's a great trail, the Barker Way Trail. If you come up the front trail, which is on Gulf Crest and Navajo with a dog, well, you got to be crazy because it's really too narrow and too many people and too much talking. This is the way to do it. Anyway, we're at the summit now. Both trails, the Barker Way and the main trail, uh, meet here at the summit. And if you time it right, you can catch the sundown, uh, sunset, I should say. And the views are magnificent, as you can see here. I'm filming this with an Insta 361X. That's a 360 degree camera. Now I have a lot of other uh, videos about hiking Cow's Mountain and about larger Airedale Terriers. So if you're interested, make sure you look at the other videos on my channel. But now uh, I'm going to show what it's like to walk down from the summit on the Barker Way Trail. Mentally, I divide this trail into thirds. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, starting with the first third, second, and the last third. The first third is pretty hard. Uh, as far as uh, steepness goes and the middle trail is kind of like a cool down and the last third is very steep and also tough so it's kind of like an exercise machine in a way it's great for you it's great for your dogs and my dogs always look forward to it but I never made one about walking down so this is walking down most of the first third and uh, Right across the trail, there's another part where you can sit down, it's kind of level, and uh, get a better view looking north. Now make sure when you're walking down these trails with your dogs, that you keep them close and you always scan the sides of the trails by the bushes, because I've seen a number of rattlesnakes there, and you sure don't want your dog on one of those 15, 20 foot leashes in front of you because they're hard enough to see when they're five feet in front of you. So keep a close eye on the dog. And the other thing, very important, is always carry water for your dogs. At the summit and sometimes lower down on the trails, there are uh, some water uh, that people leave there for animals. But hey, I like to bring my own uh, because at least I know it's fresh water. So anyway, this is going down the trail. And the other thing I'd say, have good hiking shoes because this is basically decomposed granite. And when it's real dry, most of the time, it's very slippery. Uh, it used to be uh, uh, a time where almost every week from my house, I would see a uh, helicopter come over here to pick up some hikers who twisted or sprained or broke their ankle. On these trails so be prepared for that also have a hat and uh, you'll have a good time it, it's not really tough and as you can see here it's a nice wide trail because it's used for access to the uh, phone and microwave towers at the top I believe the elevation is uh, 1591 feet uh, at least that's what I remember from memory so it's not really tall, but for the city it is, not for the county. Now you can see we're, we're going down the trail and come to our uh, first main turn here where it, you can see Lake Murray out in the front there. Lake Murray, Cowles Mountain and are all part of the Mission Trails Regional Park. That's the largest regional park west of the Mississippi. If I make a right here, there's a little trail that connects to the main trail that goes down to uh, uh, the junction of uh, Gulf Crest and Navajo. Like I said before, I wouldn't recommend that trail at all because it's way too crowded and way too narrow especially with dogs. So this is my only trail that I use. There's some great views. Um, 
I don't know if the video is actually showing how steep it is, but it's not super steep. But hey, if you have uh, 150 pounds of dogs that you're pulling, that are pulling you sometimes, you want to make sure, like I said before, that you have good hiking shoes on. The other thing to keep in mind, and it's a really big benefit of going up the Parker Way Trail, is if you come up late in the day like I do, and the times vary depending on, on the sunset, uh, it's in shadow because uh, you're coming up uh, the east side of the mountain and the sun is setting on the other side. So most of this trail, as you can see right now, is in shadow. So this is not only good for you but it's great for the dogs because I never hike up here in, in midday and stuff because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's cruel to your dog and there's a lot of signs at the start of uh, the trails that tell you hey don't take your dogs in the middle of the day unfortunately there are some people who disregard or don't read those signs but uh, it's common sense so uh, that's another good reason to use the Barker Way Trail and when it's in shadow, obviously it's much cooler as well. So it's, a, it's, the, it's the main trail for dogs. I would never recommend any other trail. Now there's another trail that goes towards Santee that connects to this trail that's also nice. But again, it connects to this because this is the main way up. Here we're, uh, this is probably the steepest part of the trail right here that we're on now. Obviously some people are much better shaped than I am, so you can see them jog on by. But uh, when you're walking with dogs, you gotta be careful here, so you don't slip. Try and stay on the rock and not on the, uh, the decomposed granite as much as you can. There's a nice viewpoint as you can see right in front of me. And then there's another about 300 foot part of the steepness of the trail, and then it, it goes back to a, a normal trail. I'm going to end the video over here because coming up this other part, uh, there were uh, some other people with dogs, and I just didn't want to take a chance on the, the dogs interacting with each other on the steep part of the trail. This is what's called small planet view. Now keep in mind the camera on here is never moving. I mean, uh, I'm holding it on like a selfie stick in one position. The selfie stick becomes invisible with this camera and I'm doing all the effects in uh, post-production. If you enjoyed this Airedale Terrier video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, you might want to go to our very popular Airedale blog where we post these videos with additional photos. And then mark the blog as one of your favorite sites. Thanks for watching.